challenge. Uh, this one's a level eight. We're doing it in JavaScript. It's called I love you uh, a little, a lot, passionately, not at all. Uh, as always, there's a link to the challenge in the show notes. Try it out before watching the video. The best way to learn JavaScript is to struggle. And the other best way to learn JavaScript is repeated practice. So subscribe to the channel and that way you'll be notified every time I post one of these. So with that, let's get started. Uh, who remembers back in the time the schoolyard when girls take flower, tear his petals, each saying each of the following phrases, I love you a little, a lot, passionately, ready, madly, not at all. Uh, when the last petal was torn, uh, there were cries of excitement, dreams, surging thoughts and emotions. Uh, your goal in this contest to determine which phrase the girls would say uh, for uh, a flower for a given number of petals uh, greater than zero. Okay, so these are our five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, phrases. Let's save this as a variable here. So const uh, phrases is equal to I love. It's going to take a sec here. Uh, I can't pause the video, unfortunately. So let's just type them out. A uh, little, a lot, passionately. I'm going to misspell one of these for sure. Madly and not at all. Okay, so there's your phrases. Um, so we have a number of petals here. Now it's gonna be fairly straightforward if, uh, let's say for example, um, let's say there are seven petals, okay? So we'll, let's say const mb petals is equal to seven, okay? Well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna go through the first six, okay? Because there's six phrases, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it starts back over at the top again, okay? So this is, we're kind of doing mod here, okay? So if I take uh, seven and mod six, that's gonna give me remainder one. So that's the first phrase, okay? Um, now the tricky part with this is that we also have, um, we're, we're also dealing with uh, uh, zero based uh, indexing here. So when I say, when we have one here as our first one, really we gotta subtract zero here, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that's all fine and good, but the problem is, is what if it's exactly six? Okay, so nb, uh, nb petals, uh, let's set that equal to six. Okay, let's do uh, const, I think it, because I did const, it's gonna freak out. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's, let's just say uh, six mod six, that's gonna give me zero, but then if it's zero and I'm, I subtract one, I'm gonna have negative one. So then I gotta go back to uh, the uh, length of the array. I've gotta go back up to the six, okay? So what we'll say is uh, here, let's say we're gonna let index equal to uh, the number of petals, the MB petals mod six minus one, <clears throat> okay? Now, uh, if if the index is negative one, uh, then we're going to set it equal to uh, phrases dot length. Okay, phrases dot length minus one. Uh, so do phrases dot length minus one. Okay, so that'll get you. This is phrases dot length. There's six phrases in there. Minus one is five, and because we're doing zero base index indexing, that's going to go zero, one, two, three, four, five. Not at all. Okay. Uh, so now we just need to return phrases, square bracket, the index. Okay, so let's test that out. So far, so good. Let's do a submission here. Great job, y'all.